Super Cool, a comedy fantasy directed by Teppo Araxanen and stars Jake Short, Miles J. Harvey, and Damon Wayans Jr. And Super Cool follows two lifelong friends, Neil and Gilbert, whose undeniable bond is tested to the limits when Neil makes a magical wish that comes true. And with the assistance of Neil's charismatic neighbor, Jimmy, and Gilbert's wild ideas, Neil endures one epic night. So I just saw this film at the San Francisco Film Festival this year, and I gotta admit that this is probably one of the most nostalgic comedies that I've seen in quite a while. And you know, it's actually kinda hard to say the last time I came across a good comedy movie. Uh, the last thing that I probably saw that got a legit that got legit laughter out of me was probably uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil, which is a movie that actually had some golden comedy moments to me personally. But I would say that this film, Super Cool, was more consistently funny throughout the whole film. This movie is basically Super Bad, Night at the Roxbury, Wish Upon a Star, that old Disney film with probably a dash of The Hangover. And Damon Wayans Jr. is in this movie as well. And I gotta say that for the first time ever in his career, the guy was actually funny. I just thought he was cursed for a while. Like seriously, like I thought he was destined to be unfunny compared to his legendary father and uncles. For a while to me, it just seemed like like the funny gene just wasn't passed down to him. I don't know, maybe because he was trying to be them and hadn't really discovered his own style of funny yet, but in Super Cool, it shows big time and he's grown a lot with his on-screen comedy. And Miles J. Harvey actually shines ridiculously bright in this fucking movie. I mean, he damn near steals the shine in every scene he's in. And every time I saw him on screen, I was just waiting for some funny shit to fly out of his mouth. So like, yeah, I think the kid's going places. And it's pretty unpredictable as well, the majority of the runtime. There are some things you can't help but see coming because the inevitable outcome of movies like these are quite simple. And sure, some are going to watch this movie and see a ton of shit you've seen before from its predecessors, and in some cases done better. But the chemistry amongst the main cast at certain moments were fucking golden. And the adventures the characters go on and where it leads them was quite unexpected. And for me, I always love that element in comedies like these, like Hangover or Super Bad, where we spend a whole day following these characters around and just witnessing all the funny random shit they get into. And the director basically confirms that just about every film I've mentioned so far played a role in one way or another in the inspiration behind the movie. And I personally think it contains some honorable callbacks to its predecessors while also carving out some well-deserved room for itself. So I'm giving Super Cool an eight out of 10. This is definitely one of those comedies I can see myself rewatching in the future simply because there's so many solid comedic moments and quotables packed in. And honestly, overall, it's just a solid comedy that knows exactly what it is and really doesn't try to be anything else. Also, by the way, I wanna give you guys a heads up. I actually don't know uh, when the release date is for Super Cool. Right now it's being shown at the San Francisco Film Festival, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, I guess later on, you know, a release date will be announced. But there you have it. If you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.